Hey guys, so today I want to share a really nice software called Forefront AI. So this Forefront AI is absolutely amazing. It is giving free chat GPT-4 access. So this is Forefront AI. Once you search on Google and open the website, this is how their website looks. So now look, look at here. Sign up to get access to GPT-4, image generation, custom persona, shareable chats and more. So one of the things that I was really, really impressed was it is giving access to GPT-4. So once you click on login, so let's just log in here. And uh, we are going to check if it is giving access to GPT-4 or not, although I have already used it. So this is just a demo. So this is how the interface looks. It's really simple, really clean. I like the interface. So it has got personas, celebrities and stuff. It has got a lot of things here. So I will be testing out a lot of features, but for this particular tutorial, I'm only going to give you one thing because this is something that I've been using couple for a couple of days now so this is loading and we are going to click on the model so here it is gpt4 once you click on gpt4 the model is gpt4 it has got personas and stuff too so i have already used one persona but i recommend to use only one helpful assistant this is really good so we are going to just type here give me a blog post and by the way, if you are writing blog post on any topic, then if you use GPT, chat GPT or any AI generator, please make sure that you provide your own experiences, your own, your own information too. Many people I have seen on internet is basically giving recommendations that you should use the same content. Sooner or later, there will be an update for, you know, AI detection or maybe not necessarily AI detection, but more helpful content and the repetitive content is definitely gonna be you know deranged or something bad can happen with the websites which are using all ai generated content so rec my recommendation is always use content that is somewhat your personal experience so let's just start give me a blog post on cars and we are going to enter here so it is writing our post so this is so one thing that i want you guys to know how can you know the difference if something is written by ChatGPT 3.5 and ChatGPT 4? ChatGPT 4 can write a very long post with a very small query, right? So whatever prompt you give, you don't have to be very detailed. It understands a lot without, uh, you know, without being very intricate with the prompt. But with ChatGPT 3.5, you have to be very intricate. And uh, here's something that I was thinking about that sooner or later this is going to be in the next couple of days chat gpt4 is going to be free too because there are too many free tools already available and i will be sharing all of them this one is my favorite because the interface is really clean this is the kind of interface that is required for any modern website it should be clean so it is writing and it will keep writing just let's see so it is generating and uh, let's see so this is all there is to it actually and uh, right now it has got a lot of traffic too so i recommend to use this chat in a way that you don't have to create over and over again whatever blog or whatever question you want to give whatever prompts you want to give because it has got a lot of traffic in it when you open the website it gives a basically a message that they've got a lot of traffic on their website and it can cause some interruptions but you can just here it is chat gpt4 but uh, for some reason our generation is stopped so we are gonna just regenerate it we are gonna copy this i'm gonna regenerate it we're gonna paste here enter so this is loading one more time let's see so I have already shared a video regarding how to format this kind of content. If you are taking content from AI, you can use HTML markup to automatically resegment the content or basically get H1 title tags and uh, all the subtitles and stuff. So let's see. 
it may take some time i may not show you guys all the generation so my recommendation is go to chat.forefront.ai this is you can search on google too forefront.ai forefront you click here you click to forefront chat and then it's going to start generating all you have to do is just choose a model from the top and it will ask you for 3.5 if you want to use 3.5 or 4 use chat gpt4 and it will start writing sometimes they stop the generation because of the traffic but uh, most of the time it works really good so that's all there is to it and uh, i will see you in the next one thanks for watching guys thank you